a cozy night in my life. The sunlight just pours into my apartment. Love it. Let's get into it. Usually by the time I get home, I will have already tried to convince myself or talk myself out of not stopping at Tropical Smoothie on my way home like six times. So I'm starving at this point. I don't have a ton of food in my apartment right now. I really can't be stopping at Tropical Smoothie right now either. So we're gonna see what we can put together in the fridge. It's probably gonna end up being like pancakes or something for dinner because I have nothing else, literally. Actually, I feel like that's cozy anyway, so I feel like stay on brand with the video. We should make breakfast for dinner. I have pancake stuff and I don't have much of anything else. I feel like it'd be just really fun to have like a little cozy night in. Pancakes are super cozy. They're pumpkin pancakes too, which is so perfect also, extremely on brand. Maybe with the side of this sausage. It's not breakfast sausage, but I love it so much. I also also, I have Canadian bacon in my freezer, but I don't think it'll thaw in time. So I'm going to make pancakes, a little bit of sausage. It's actually a little bit warm today. Like for some reason in North Carolina, I am from upstate New York. The weather there is ass almost all the time. 75% of the year, the weather is just terrible. Here, you breathe the wrong way and mother nature in North Carolina is like, fuck you bitch. And it will literally feel like Seattle in winter time in the morning and then in the afternoon, it's like 80 degrees and you're like, what the the fuck did I get dressed for this morning? Bundle up because it's like 40 degrees when I walk out of my house in the morning. By noon, it's a hundred fucking degrees outside. What, like, what is the point? You know, like most other places have four seasons and they go throughout the year. North Carolina has four seasons throughout the day. It's kind of like mother nature is just keeping you on your toes constantly. There's just never any dull moments with her in North Carolina. She's a queen. We just wish she would give us consistent weather. But look at this. This is just so, I need to start cooking. Pan is so tiny, but it's the only one I have clean right now. pancake for a cozy night in. Ugh, I'm so excited too. Honestly, I don't know why I don't make these more often. I've been feeling a lot more savory, which is good because I have always been the type of person to crave the shit out of sweets. And recently I've been craving like more savory food, which is good because I'm not craving like really sugary things anymore. So excited about this. some like light stretching plyometrics. Not really like the point of it's not to get my heart rate up, it's just to like loosen up my muscles because like I said, I have been going a little bit hard in the gym the past four or five days. My body, I can, like I can feel it, how sore it is and stiff it is. So I wanna try and like stretch some of that out. We're gonna do that. <laughs> That's 
my knee. Why does that happen? It doesn't hurt, it's just loud as hell. It's 7.07 now and I don't feel like showering yet. And I do think the clothes in the dryer are gonna take like maybe five minutes more to finish drying. So I'm gonna go through my gym bag and just put away anything that's in there that I'm not gonna use. I think tomorrow I go to yoga class. So maybe I'll just pack my bag. I'm gonna stop using this bag though. I'm bordering on whether this is cringy or not to use this bag. This is, this is the bag I got for when I was in high school for like my track and it's still in like brand new condition. Like there, it doesn't even seem like it's used because I took care of it. But this bag has been through so much with me and I feel like a 40 year old dad when I walk into the gym with this bag. But like, I don't have the money to buy a new one. <laughs> it's also blue. Like, I don't own anything else in this color. Is it cringy to walk in with this bag because I will most certainly not use it anymore. The last time I walked in the gym with that bag, I actually felt like a balding 40 year old man and I'm not. <laughs> Until somebody says, it's not cringy, I use that bag, and they're my age and my gender, then I'm retiring. I answered my own question from earlier. I'm going to do some planning. dishwasher is like unbelievably loud right now and i just feel like the audio is going to be shit so if you still hear some dishwasher sounds in the background i apologize but i won't be talking too much through the next part of this anyway so of course now i'm craving something sweet and i thought instead of making like a smoothie or just like doing something easy and eating a spoonful of peanut butter which is normally what i would do but i feel like since this is a cozy vlog i would try to replicate this recipe i saw on instagram like a couple days ago and it's a three ingredient nutter butter cookie situation so i'm gonna try and make those they're only three ingredients it's supposed to be almond flour but i don't have almond flour so i'm just gonna substitute with regular flour hopefully that works i don't really know we're gonna figure it out but it's literally just flour maple syrup or honey and then nut butter and i have peanut butter so I don't have the healthiest peanut butter, I have the Jif peanut butter. I needed regular peanut butter to make a different kind of cookie that I was making and I didn't feel like buying a different butter. But I do have this like strawberry jam that I got at the farmer's market and I feel like it would taste so good in between two of the Nutter Butters. Like it would be like a little peanut butter and jelly cookie. I'm excited for the cozy vibes. Mm -hmm. 